Hey, welcome to Barclay Builds. Today I'm going to show you how to put a wooden mantle over a fireplace. Uh, now unfortunately I didn't film the rest of the refurb um, of this, but I'm going to do a separate video uh, coming up soon uh, on how to repoint brickwork. Let me show you what I'm going to use uh, for today. Here I've got the kit I'm going to use today. So I've got a grinder, um, just to cut the threaded bar down to length. Uh, a wood saw to cut my uh, timber to length. Uh, this is a, a fan blade bit, if you haven't seen my um, video already on which drill bit to use, check that out below. We've also got some, some resin to, uh, to fix our threaded bar into the wall. So I've got a piece of timber on the hop up ready to cut. I've already measured the fireplace and I know I want to uh, have my mantle hanging over the edge um, either side, 7 inches. So that works out to be uh, 1200 wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the mantle now. Um, so let's crack on. I'm going to mark it on all sides so when I cut down, I can see with the saw what I'm going to follow. So you get yourself a set square and a pencil. That makes it super easy. Hit this with a little bit of sandpaper, take off any of the rough edges. Just super easy. Beautiful. Now I've got a nice clean edge. I made a mess on the floor. Casey's going to love me. Uh, I'm going to measure out 1200 and uh, we'll cut it again for the final cut. So let's measure 1200. Get to 1200. Mark it there. Now because it's length, we can put some uh, holes in it to take the uh, threaded rod. So I've already found my midpoint, and we're going to strike a line all the way down the piece of wood so we can put our rebar in that point. Guys, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button, uh, and if you've got any comments, drop them in the comments below. Um, consider subscribing if you want more content like this. Uh, hit the notification bell uh, so you won't miss an upload. Let's get back into the video. So I've cut my four pieces of rebar, they're 180mm long, that's 110mm to go into the uh, oak and 70mm to stick into the wall. So I'm going to put one at 100mm, one at 400mm, and again at 100mm and 400mm. So I've drilled them both on the line that I've uh, already marked. Uh, to a depth of 110 mil. So I've measured 70 mil and put a uh, stop with a piece of tape just so I know uh, my depth to go to. Get your resin. Um, resin tubes have a um, like a mixing nozzle on them anyway. 
uh, as it goes through it mixes it it goes to more of a solid grey uh, towards the end it's a pretty cool nozzle so we're going to put a bit into each hole uh, and then stick in the threaded bar that we've got so you don't need to fill the hole now we're just looking for enough so it can spurt out later on you can I would say half fill it at the moment Two of them for now. It's always handy to get your uh, set square for this. You can put the uh, resin into the hole, put the thread of bar in the hole, and then square it up as well. So we can square it up because it's got a set and cure. Once it's a curing, cure in the right place. As you put it in, give it a twist. That'll get all the, um, the threads covered. Looking pretty good on square there. Ultimately, you want to see the you want to see the resin come out of it, just like that. Give that 45 minutes for the uh, resin to set and then we'll drill the holes in the wall. Now the resin has gone off, uh, we can move the mantle and offer it up to the uh, fireplace so we can mark out where our um, threads are going to go into the wall. So what I've done is I've found the, the top measurement uh, from my fireplace. I did that by measuring the height of the log burner, um, adding 450 mil and then the uh, thickness of the timber, which gave me um, 1140, uh, and that's this top line. Um, now your mantle has to be 450 uh, from the top of your um, log burner, otherwise your heat house engineer isn't going to sign it off. So what I've done is I've found the top mark, the top of my mantle, and I've also measured the chimney breast and found the center of the chimney. Now from that I've marked the centre of my mantle um, and I can work out how far my um, threads are down from the, from the top because they are centred. Uh, I can work out the measurement because the threads are centred um, to the mantle itself. What I have to do is measure down from the top 55mm um, um, which gives me the centre of my mantle and that's where I can drill my hole. So I've done four of them. One, two, three, four. I've also measured out um, where I want my mantle to finish. Uh, it's easier to mark it out rather than lift it up um, just because it's your, your struggle else. Don't forget to hoover out the holes. This will help your resin, I think, more to bind through. Start with your nozzle three quarters of the way in, and as you squeeze it slowly, pull it out. What you don't want is the, uh, the thread to be pushed into the hole and push all that resin out, otherwise it just won't do anything. Now check it's the right way around. Slide it in. Now, at this point, you can't just walk away, it's going to fall off. So, I'm going to get a prop, prop it underneath, and that's going to push it back to the wall. Stop Once you've popped the mantle on the wall, stick something heavy at the bottom and stick a prop underneath. What I've done is stick a little triangle at the top just to prop it up. Uh, last thing you want is for your mantle to roll forward uh, because as soon as that resin goes off that's going to set and you're not going to get that off again. You're going to have to break it off to, uh, to get it out. 
Look at that, it's bang on level. It's like we measured it. Click here to subscribe to Barker Builds. Click here for how to drill into a wall safely. Click here for my previous video. And click here for how to mix mortar for bricklaying. See you guys next time. First time, yes, nailed it.